indeed one Caldwell Hilton, a very old friend of Bob and I, who's sadly no longer with us. Yeah, and I saw him box Julius Francis as well. Caldwell Hilton took him the distance. He took Julius Francis out with a real quality body shot. Always had ability. When he's got to the top level, Ruiz has had a lot of criticism for being one-paced and dull. And he says, what can I do about it? I try. Yes, Coming that's right, and uh, some decent names on his record, by the way. He was uh, knocked out in a round by David Ruiz! Tua back in 1996. And uh, here is the wonderful Michael Buffer making the official announcements as uh, John Ruiz comes to the ring. And uh, Jimmy Thunder was a victim over 12 rounds to uh, Ruiz. Tony Ticket Tucker was beaten in 11 rounds back in 1998. There was a no contest, by the way, with James Tony, the former middleweight champion. I may, may remember that Tony tested positive for an illegal drug after that. Had a win over Andrew Galotta, Hassim Rahman. Lost on points to Roy Jones, the former middleweight champion. And it's strange I did an interview with Irish Radio prior to the Jones Ruiz fight. And they said, How do you think it'll go? I said, Well, Jones is an exceptional middleweight. Ruiz is uh, an unexceptional heavyweight. My money's on Jones. Yeah, he's looking as if he really means business here. He's almost running to the ring as if he can't get that ring walk over fast enough. He knows this is his last chance and he wants to look good. I believe that. There's times when he's been, yeah, you know, he's, he's struggled, he's wondered why he never got the recognition and he's been, a, he's sulked put it plainly he's, he's not really got the best out of himself but in there there is still a decent fighter indeed well a couple of other names on the record of uh, Ruiz worth a mention he uh, he won a disqualification fight with Kirk Johnson had a draw with Evander Holyfield before beating Holyfield and then losing to Holyfield Last big win for uh, Ruiz was over Jamil McCline, who I never really rated, incidentally. And now, from Russia with love, Nikolai Nikomalyoe. That's a cracking job, doesn't he, Michael Buffer? When he began, he was just a big, raw novice. But now he can box a bit. He's learnt. He's and intelligent. Now to honor the two fighters in the ring, their respective national anthems. First, the star-spangled banner of the United States of America.
national anthem of Russia. Gentlemen, my Damen und Herren, willkommen and oh, welcome to Max Schmeling Halle Berlin, where tonight, Saul and Event and Don King Productions are proud to present the main event of the evening. 12 rounds of boxing for the vacant WBA Heavyweight Championship of the World. Zwölf Runden Boxweltmeister Chef. Im Schwergewicht. Sanctioned by the World Boxing Association, President Hilberto Mendoza, Supervisor Robert Mack, and FBA President Vili Palatin. The three judges scoring at ringside are from Denmark, Ove Oversen, from Venezuela, Antonio Requena, and from Japan, Takeshi Shimakawa. And inside the ring, in charge of the action at the bell from Australia, a veteran of over 50 World Championship contests, referee Derek Milhan. And now, for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world, ladies and gentlemen, meine Damen und Herren, aus Berlin, uh, let's get ready to rumble! Fighting out of the red corner, the Rota Eka, wearing black, official weight, 108.6 kilograms. His professional record, 52 fights. He has 43 victories, including 29 knockouts. From Chelsea, Massachusetts, USA, the former two-time heavyweight world champion, John Quiet Man the ring, his opponent fighting out of the blue corner. The Blaue Eka wearing blue, trimmed with red and white official weight, 144.4 kilograms. Professional record, 50 fights, 48 victories, including 34 knockouts from St. Petersburg, Russia. The man known as the Russian giant, former heavyweight champion of the world, Dame Gaspadai, Nikolai. Nico Valuya! So this is the one we've all been waiting for then. Nikolai Valuev against John Ruiz. At stake, of course, the uh, vacant WBA Heavyweight World Championship. Now... Those of you sitting out there saying, what on earth is uh, up with Ruslan Chagarf? I thought he was the heavyweight champion. Well, he's what's been termed champion in recess. He's got an Achilles tendon injury, but it appears he'll be taking on the winner when he's better. Is that right, Bob? Yep, that explains it perfectly. Valuev was the number one contender, Ruiz the number two. So rather than wait around for Chagayev, uh, they've decided to keep the situation moving. And here we go. And depending on who you believe, of course, there's either 10 or 12 inches between these two. Massive difference regardless. Referee for this one, Derek Millman of Australia. Now, Value F. Well, I personally think he'll win this one without any question. He's a much better boxer than he was the first time they met. And uh, there was controversy surrounding their first meeting, despite the fact that most people thought that Value F was a decent winner. 
Yeah, Ruiz complained bitterly. His, his trainer at the time went berserk afterwards and wouldn't hand the WBA belt over. Crowd were booing and um, Ruiz has a new trainer now, Manny Siaka Sr. And uh, he uh, he believes he's, he's, got the, he's got this worked out. Well, we'll see about that. And don't forget, of course, Ruiz has also got a new trainer. Uh, my apologies, um, Value F's got a new trainer. And they've turned him into a better boxer than he was before. Um, he's not a hugely powerful man despite his size. No, and he doesn't use his size in that if he leaned on somebody, they'd be in serious trouble, wouldn't they? And they, they'd run out of energy fairly quickly. He is a little bit there, but most of the time he's a very clean fighter, very um, sporting, likes to box. But obviously if he catches Ruiz cleanly, then it's about 22 and a half stones of, of um, heavyweight. Well, it's interesting no, to note that 14 of uh, Valuev's opponents have actually gone the distance with him. Having said that, 14 of John Ruiz's opponents have gone the distance with him as well. So, on paper, there's not a whole lot between these two, is there? No, Ruiz isn't a, a vicious puncher by any means, but he's knowing, he's, he's, he's uh, wily, difficult to look good against. But uh, early on, Valuev reading him and chopped in a, a decent right hand a, a, um, a few moments ago. And the jab's working for Valuev early on. Yes, they both know exp uh, what to expect of each other. Ruiz just can't reach him at the moment. He's tried a couple of those long right hands, but they, they've lost power before they've hit the chin. Yeah, so it's got such a long way to travel. See, this is what I mean about being a better boxer. Oh, love, lovely left hook there from Ruiz. Yeah, that was his best moment of the first round. Bounced off the big man's head, but at least it got through. Protector high, Ruiz. Or his shorts are falling down, one or the other. Now the protectors do tend to come up, don't they? Yeah. Well, Ruiz is having his moments in this opening session. Is he going to win it? Yeah, I don't think so. But he finished well. So this is round two then of a schedule 12. Don't forget the vacant WBA heavyweight title on the line here. And uh, quite naturally, of course, uh, Value F will be looking to uh, dispel any uh, controversy. They want to win this one convincingly. But having said that, Ruiz, of course, well, he wants revenge. Yeah, the game plan is fairly obvious for both. Value F wants the left hand working, build everything off that, use his reach, which is enormous, obviously. Ruiz, he's got to find a way of getting inside, cracking in the left hook and maybe working the big man's body if he can. And what surprises me, Bob, is, you know, for a man of seven feet uh, in height, he can actually box pretty well, can't he? He can. He's quite mobile given his size and he's, uh, you know, he's monstrously big there. I mean, Ruiz is not a small man, but he looks about five foot four. Yeah, well, and he's six feet two. Yeah. And that's the problem when you fight Ruiz, he makes big men look little. Valuev, he's, he just... Oh, right hand from Ruiz. Good shot again. Now then. Oh, he's got him down, surely. Well, referee says no. That was a slip. I think he stumbled over his own feet trying to get out of the way. But that, that was the... That woke him up. That's made this into a fight. Well, I tell you something, Ruiz there was really spurred on by that moment of success. Tried it again, but too far away. But I think he's he's made Valuas nose bleed at least. That's he'll be encouraged. A big left hook in the first round, right hand in the second. Well, good right hand there from Valuas. And Valuas is doing what he didn't used to do, leaning on his man. Well, it makes tactical sense, doesn't it? It certainly does. But it could get into a maul. This Ruiz is a strong, tough character. Oh, 
Well, decent right there again from Value F. Oh, and again, good punch. And then Ruiz comes straight back at him. Well, this is a sign, really, of how much uh, power the Value F lacks. Well, they're trading, aren't they? They're, they're just prepared to just... They've forgotten their boxing for a moment. They just stood toe-to-toe. -to -toe. That's, that's good stuff. Yeah, we thoroughly enjoyed that. Well, despite that uh, glimmer of hope from Ruiz earlier on here in this round, it looks like it's going to go Value F's way, Bob. Well, there's not much in it, and Ruiz has had his moments. I think there's plenty for him to be encouraged about in this round. His favour, I think you have as well, Bob. Well, I have, but I thought about that round. I think Ruiz, somebody could easily give him that round. He landed some decent shots, plenty for him to be encouraged about. He said, look, people have moaned that I held, that I'm boring. I'm not going to be tonight, I'm going to fight. So far he has, and he's had enough success. Indeed he has, and, uh, well, you know, the great thing about fighting a fellow like Value F, um, despite his size, as I say, he's not a huge puncher, so you're always in with a chance. <laughs> and one thing I had noticed about uh, Value F uh, recently is the simple fact that he's prepared to take a backward step. Well, he's learned, he's adapted as things have gone on, he's not just been prepared to just trade on his size and his, his the freakish nature he, he's um he's tried to learn the business that's why he succeeded Ruiz waiting here biding his time looking to counter that was a decent left hand again I like what he's doing here but that's that thudding jab from Valuev again Well, John Ruiz is not a bad fighter, but at the age of 36, you've got to wonder if he's on the wrong side of the hill now. And what ambitions he has left, having already won a world title on two previous occasions. I think the, the ambition is in that he's yearning to be recognised. He knows he's been dismissed as boring, the worst heavyweight champion since who, whoever knows. He, he's really been hurt by that. And he said, no, I can fight and I'll prove it to you. So that's his hunger. Whether he can achieve it, another matter. So we've got almost pure boxing from Value F here in round three. And of course, a, a touch of aggression and big punching from uh, John Ruiz. <laughs> Left hook again from Ruiz. He is taking the jabs, but he's landing the, the better punches when he gets close. Well, one there before the order of the box on was uh, barked by a referee. He's a tough man, Ruiz, isn't he? He is. Interesting round, this. Yeah, I think Ruiz has just about outstayed him in this round. Value effort, he started well enough, but Ruiz has just kept coming on, kept the punches coming. Not pretty, but I went just the other way in the second round. I've gone just Ruiz's way in that round. But and me too. You'll have your own opinions. Simple for Here he is against John Ruiz. Ruiz has just pulled around back there, but it's still a point behind for Bob, me and myself. Yeah, it's a fascinating opening, though. It's, it looks already looks a, a, a contest between the sheer size, the jab of Value F, the long range, peppering with that left hand and Ruiz's solid uh, hooks. I know I've said this before, but uh, people don't appreciate how incredibly fit you need to be to box, let alone over 12 rounds against a, a real tough opponent. But when you're as big as Value F, I mean, what a, what a workman this guy must be. Yeah, he's, he's an athlete, isn't he? He, look, he? he is enormous, and to carry 22 and a half stone around a ring for 12 rounds for the best part of an hour, and to keep punching, keep moving, yeah, you're fit. And to take punches as well, which are very draining. Break. 
Well, Ruiz yet to get to grips uh, with things here in this fourth. Yeah, it's been Valuev's jab that's been the, the point scorer, isn't it? Ruiz just can't get close enough at the moment. But we're only halfway through. That was better, but nothing landed. Referee's going to have his work cut out here, Derek Millam. He's not the biggest. If they start leaning on each other, he's no chance of prizing them apart, has he? <laughs> well, Value F has used his better boxing in this fall to pick up the points. And also, he's, uh, he's, he's kept on the move, and he's been quite mobile. He's prevented, well, apart from that right hand, uh, Ruiz getting close enough to, to, to cause him any damage. It, even then he rode that, he saw that saw it coming. Yeah, Ruiz, he's got a minute to, to best part of a minute to ha make an impression here. Drive his punches home if he can. There's a right hand. But the jab again from Valuev, and it jerks his head back, doesn't it? Good body shot there, right hand from uh, Valuev. Yeah, told to keep them up, and I, I, well, it was on the border, wasn't it? Well, it looks like another round this for uh, the big man, Valuev, to give himself a two point lead now. So, round five it is, then, if this schedule doesn't. Judges, by the way, from Denmark, Venezuela, and Japan, and our referee is uh, from Australia. I think this is a round that Ruiz has suddenly got to make an impression. He's got to do something about this. He can't let Valuev have another round on the jab. Valuev fed up of Ruiz sticking his, ar his head under his arm. Well, it's got to go somewhere. Yes, yeah, best there than uh, on the end of that long thumping left hand. And you're absolutely right, Bob. And this is a round really that uh, Ruiz has got to get in the bag. And yet he walks into a lovely left hand there. And he's showing signs of frustration now. And Valuev boxing quite well. That was a neat little left hook on the inside as well. I've got a feeling Ruiz is a bit surprised at the boxing ability here of Valuev, don't you? Yeah, sure. He, he's has had a gum shield out that the referee's just picked off the canvas. There's something wrong with it. I don't know. And when we saw him last, when uh, Valuev in his last fight beat uh, the Belarusian Sergei Lakayevich, uh, yeah, he, he boxed really well. He diffused like Lakayevich very, very easily. Well, John Ruiz has not made the impression he'd like to in this particular round. No, he's fighting in straight lines when he comes in. He's, he's lost his game plan a little bit. Well, the crowd, they're not enjoying Valuev getting ticked off by our referee for one thing or another. Well, I don't think there's anything wrong with Valuev learning a few tricks of the trade. It's old at 35 to be learning, but he is. He's learning how to use his weight and smother more than he ever used to. Well, nice three-punch combination there from the Russian. And Ruiz lunging in in a rather tired way. He's lost a bit of belief in this round. It's just not getting close enough. I still think he's got the will to win this one, Bob, but I just wonder if he's got the ability. I think he needs to shake himself up when he gets back to the corner. His new trainer, Manny Siaka, needs to get hold of him and say, come on, you worked hard for this. Is he the father of the former middleweight? He is. Well, decent left hook there from Ruiz. But it's another hour for Valuev. 
Yeah, he's, he landed one decent left hook at the end of that round when Valuev missed with a right and left himself open. And um, Ruiz, that was his only, really, his only moment of success in the whole three minutes. The rest of the time, he just couldn't get out the way of the jab. There it goes again. And people might say, well, it's only a jab, you know, but it's, it's sickening. It's an accurate jab. It's just knocking the spray from Ruiz's head. Well, he's got a big fighting heart, John Ruiz, isn't he? Big fighting spirit. And these, these, these punches are thudding home. Yeah, Ruiz has only been stopped once, and that was when he was caught cold by David Tour, who can really hit. That was in, what, 19 seconds, way back, 1996. Well, that's the thing with Turi, get you early or he get you late, but uh, never in between. Well, it just happened, and, and Ruiz, that can be put down as one of those things now. He's, uh, nobody else has done it. Getting untidy. Well, that, that's, I think, the gamesmanship being employed here by uh, Value F. As I say, he's been, you know, like you mentioned before, Bob, he's been taught how to use his size and his strength. And not a lot of clean work from either of them in this round so far. A lot of well, flailing there, but nothing landing. Yeah, lots of missing. And yet it's got a, a wild excitement about it, isn't it? Yeah, it suddenly explodes, doesn't it? A little frenetic burst. That was a right hand from, from Ruiz that was a bit better. You get these long periods where they're, they're just having a look. Then suddenly they, they come alive and left hand from Ruiz and I just wonder whether the uh, value F corner and promoter realize that he's not a you know he doesn't punch very hard I don't think he takes a great punch either because they kept him away from big punches haven't they I think he you know he's taken one well enough he's gone 50 fights without being stopped so if he, if he if his chin was bad they'd have found out as big as he is they'd have found that out by now but you know what I mean Bob I mean they're not putting him in with dangerous punches well it's the state of the heavyweight division it's the way he is I'm sure they'd love to put him in with Vladimir Klitschko they, they wouldn't bother putting him in with anybody really well it's been a strange round this a bit on the untidy side I've got a feeling Valuev might just be nicking it but uh, I'd be very open to criticism in that. Yeah, very hard to score that one. Should we call it level, Bob? And uh, John Ruiz, well, he could still make a difference here. Well, I've edged that round to Ruiz. Maybe, maybe it was wrong, but it was close. Uh, but here's the jab again from Valuev, and Ruiz has to do something about that. That's Good right hand, left hook there from Ruiz. Well, they were clean, weren't they? Clean and flush. Yeah, it needs more of them. Valuev really did... He just let his work drop a bit in that round. And it was a messy round. The sixth. Here he goes again. Valuev still looks very confident. And you're right, Bobby, he is using his body far more than he ever used to. And maybe Ruiz is letting him, maybe coming in in straight lines is, is allowing him to do that. He couldn't do that when he fought Chagayev, who just kept on the move, kept giving him different angles. Which is what we've always said about Valuev, isn't it? If you can fight him on that level, he'll well, struggle. Any man of this size, you, you keep him moving, keep him turning. And he's going to be less uh, less effective. Ruiz not doing that at the minute. He's coming in straight lines. That was low. But most of the time, Ruiz not getting a, not getting enough through. Getting not getting past the jab enough. Decent right hand from Valuev as well. There's the jab again and the right again. Maybe Ruiz thinks I've just got to let him let him get the punch. He's going to leave himself open. 
hoping he'll fall into him in some way for a counter. Oh, thumping jabs there again from Valuev. And there are moments, Bob, when uh, John Ruiz looks like he's got that uh, sorry feeling on his face, doesn't it? He's looking a little bit demoralised here. He just can't get out of the way of the jab. And he's just... He, he, he's tried one or two different things, but very little happening for him. Again, he'll be hoping for a big finish. Trying to do something, get a big punch to catch the judge's eye at the end of the round. Make them forget what's happening in the first two and a half minutes but ju good judges don't forget what's happened in the first two and a half minutes do they no and he's not found anything in this round either he's looking weary now well another round then for uh, Nikolai Valuev here yep seven gone creation heavyweight title now I've got a four point gap Bob Mee's got a three point gap all in favour of uh, Nikolai Valuev and things have really gone from bad to worse, really, for John Ruiz. He landed one crunching right in that previous round, but uh, that aside, he's been frustrated out of this. Yeah, he's trying to get on his toes and move now. Maybe he could have done that a couple of rounds ago, trying something different. He's been coming in in straight lines too much, running into the jab, sometimes just standing off as if trying to wait for a countering chance. Yes, he's a bit lumpy around the left eye as well. Took a nice little left right there again from Valuev. Oh, lovely work there from Nikolai Valuev. Best combination of the fight so far from him. Yeah, clean punches, bang on target. Ruiz took them well, but you can't keep on taking them like that. But he has a reputation for doing that, hasn't he, Bob? He's strong and he's solid, but he's taking taking punches cleanly but he's he's not held and spoiled he's tried to make a fight of this almost as if his prides brought that out in him he said he wouldn't he's been spent his, the last few years being called boring and he's tried very hard to stop that here to try and make a fight but he's uh, at the moment not making enough of an impression can't put a dent in the big man Well, we're looking now for these subtle nuances that uh, fighters show, um, particularly, of course, with uh, with Ruiz. I just want to see how close he may be. Um, as what, you know, I mean, these are the punches that do the damage. You know, every time you move your head, a long jab hits you smack in the face, and it, and it's terribly demoralising, isn't it? Yeah, he's landed a couple of good left hooks in this round, and, and there's blood on Valuev's lip. That might give him some encouragement, but he he knows how tough this has been. Have you ever seen Nikolai Valuev bleeding from two spots, nose and mouth? Blood on the camera there. Chugging away Ruiz, really just trying to pump the arms out, but no design to what he was doing then. Better he beat Valuev to the punch that time. Well, he's certainly got speed, hasn't he? And again. But it does, uh, it's going to be another round, this, I suspect, for Valuev. Yep, indeed it is. Eight gone, four to go. I mean, he's got four rounds still to go. Ruiz tired, trying to, to just find something that will, that will just take away the jab, take away the... the just the the power that's coming his way it's it's, it's not it's it's the bulk really that, that's bothering him rather than the any devastating punch power but that jab is snapping home but on my car bob i've got uh, ruiz needing a knockout to win this one i've got him five behind with four to play you've got him four behind with four to play which means he can get a draw as far as you're concerned if he wins every round from here on in well yeah for me he needs to just change the course of the fight he's got to win all four rounds and maybe get a knockdown or two or maybe Valuev get a point knocked off for infringements or something like that what happened then
Valuous mouth's bleeding. That, you know, that's uncomfortable for him, but not, not really a problem. <laughs> they both look tired now. Yes, by the way, uh, uh, um, blood coming from the mouth is not generally a problem. It means you've either got a cut lip or your cheek has been cut. But the way gum shields are made these days, that's unlikely. Um, but then again, it could be anything. Nosebleed, of course, very common. Nothing to worry about. And it's Valua who's raised it after the sluggish first minute, but a left hook from Ruiz, that's better, and a body shot. And there's a bit of blood coming from Valua's left eye here. Just the slightest of trickles. Then he gets behind the jab again. Yeah, and Ruiz just dropped his guard for a moment, had a look and suddenly found that, to his amazement, he was in range for that jab. There again. Double jab, you can't beat it. You might get out of the way of the first one, but uh, if you throw the double jab correctly, you may not get out of the way of the second. See the blood coming down the face there? Oh, a lovely right there from Ruiz. Well, Value F's a tough guy, isn't he? Of course. He just couldn't have done this if he wasn't if he wasn't physically very, very strong and mentally strong. Well, Ruiz has got an extra target to aim for here. That's that cut on the left eye. It's only a small one. Gets it with the right. Yeah, Valuev tried basketball. He tried throwing the discus. Well, he's found himself as a fighter, hasn't he? Indeed, he has. All finishing punch. Or will he just go through this one and uh, get ultimately outscored? Um, I think by four or, or five points for you, Bob, and six for me. Yeah, I've got it four in it, but yeah, it's Ruiz now starting. He's trying to roll through and just let the punches go. He's, he can see the, the final bell coming up. He knows a big acceleration's needed if he's to sway this. He might think it's winning it anyway. Well, he did last time, didn't he? It's gruelling stuff for Ruiz, isn't it? I, you know, may not look much, but have this big man leaning over you and, you know, it, it, very, very tiring. Well, it's been a real uphill struggle, this, hasn't it, for John Ruiz? I gave him round three, but uh, unfortunately nothing else uh, apart from a level round. Well, I've been, kind of, I've been kinder to him, but I don't think he's winning the fight. Others may disagree. But he just, when he got in range then, he took a right hand as well. But I have to say, I'm, I'm very impressed by the commitment here of Ruiz. He's, uh, he knows he's out of his depth, but he's still having a real go. Yeah, he's just kept coming forward, trying to do something about it. He's no he knows he can't stand off, and, uh, so he's got to get inside. And he... Sometimes there's not been much method in what he's doing. Sometimes he's been quite, uh, quite sharp mentally, and he's got the, the shots off, but just pulled down. Then, will he take a point off him? Sign of his tiredness. And he's taken a point away here yep. from Nikolai Valuev. Well, that's what Ruiz down. needed. Which means it's another round in the bag here for Ruiz. Well, not necessarily. If Valuev wins it, then. It becomes a level round, doesn't it? True. If Valuev wins, then the point deduction just evens it up, is what I mean. Well, not really, Bob. Simply because, um, you know, if you get a point deducted, you've got nine points, and your opponent's automatically got ten. Well, not really. If he loses, then he, 
He's got, you yeah. can't have a 9-9 nine, nine round, it's yeah, going to be a 10-10 ten, ten yeah, round. But you can't get 10 because you've had a point taken off. But the deduction is taken off in a side column, if you like. True. And so it becomes a 10-9 round to value F and the deduction makes it in effect 9-9. Nine, nine. With a star, yeah. Three, you know, complaining at him uh, bitterly about a point de the point deduction. And they're still... Now they're saying it wasn't a deduction and the referees had to go over and say, oh yes it was. I think it was absolutely right, but it still means that uh, there's a big lead here for Nikolai Valuev, as far as we're concerned anyway. Well, Valuev had been leaning on him quite a lot, but hadn't been warned for it, and that's maybe what they're, they're complaining about. And then when he did shove Ruiz to the canvas, the referee just took a point straight away. Well, Bob, if we, if we go back to the early rounds, I mean, the referee said plenty of times, don't push him down, didn't he? Yeah, he hadn't really been on his case though, and that, well, whatever, you know, it was, it wasn't a bad point deduction, if you like, it wasn't particularly harsh, he had been committing the fouls. That's a good oh, right hand. Cracking right, yeah, cracking right there. But the referee got in between them, but Ruiz had recovered. Well, he didn't even see it, did he? It's his job to see things like that and take the appropriate action. Well, I've got a feeling here that Nikolai Valuev is becoming the, is becoming the only the first Russian ever to win a, a world title on two occasions. It's almost as if the point deductions fired him up a little bit, made him concentrate again. Forearm from Ruiz, but that just was nothing he's trying again Ruiz he's trying to walk through everything now and just find one big shot from somewhere well decent right there from Ruiz it's actually been a, a quite a lively contest this between two men who really want it oh lovely oh. right there good shot yeah the <laughs> times when people have been saying oh no not value of Ruiz it'll be a horrible maul and mess all the way through it's been much better than a lot of people expected here bags of effort from Ruiz still in round 11 he's just desperately trying to just do something to force this big man back Well, was that ooh, that's a good body shot? I think they, it, both of them just slipped a little bit on the wet canvas as well. Oh, lovely right there from Ruiz. Yeah, that was his best punch for uh, some rounds, a cracking right over the top. I know it's too late now for Ruiz to learn anything else, but that was a cracking round a little bit high landed on the forehead if it landed on the chin may well have I don't know rocked him maybe even knocked him down I don't know anyway here we are in the shot. 12th and final round of this WBA heavyweight title and uh, well I've got a seven point lead now for Nikolai value Bob I've got five so pretty conclusive really but John Ruiz uh, your heart goes out to him he's tried ever so hard everything's been against him he's away from home and he's fighting this uh, seven foot tall Russian, a man who's beaten him before. And again, we don't know how the judges are seeing this from Denmark, Venezuela, and Japan. They may credit him for these rather rushing, untidy attacks. They may ignore the jab. Jabs are ignored for two weeks in the Olympic Games. Maybe, <laughs> maybe it's catching. Well, I'll, I'll give Ruiz his due. He's a real dryer. He's just trying to outwork Valuev in this round and just ploughing forward. It's not pretty. He's come through some bad psychological moments in mid-fight where he looked as if he was just frustrated and, you know, sucking it up just to stay in, in the contest, really. Couldn't get out of the way of the jab at all at times. Now we can see the final bell. I'll be honest, I wouldn't mind if the official decision was a bit closer than I've got it, Bob. No, it's been a good fight. 
It's been a much better fight than well than I thought. I thought it'd be hard to to uh, see the exchanges at times. I thought there'd be a lot of close quarters mauling. Yep, we are pleasantly surprised, and we hope you are too. Inside the last minute, then, of the final round here, and looks like Nikolai Valuev have become the first ever Russian to retain, or sorry, to regain a World Heavyweight Championship. Crowd rising to them, and so they should. They work very hard, these two men. Yeah. And Ruiz just keeps ploughing forward, pumping his arms out. How would you score this final round, Bob? Well, I think Ruiz is doing more in this round, but it, again, it's this is a difficult one to score. Well, a speck of blood down the right eye, I think, of John Ruiz at this stage. Yeah, but he's keeping the punches coming, and Valuev just can't stay with him when they, they get inside. Ruiz is throwing more than he did three or four rounds ago. Yeah, I'll go along with you on this. I think uh, Ruiz is just about nicking this round. And there's a crunching ride from Valio to end the session, but... Oh, great effort there from Ruiz. Yeah, he's raising his arms to the crowd. He'll say that he's won this. Well, I don't think so, but who knows? Well, I've got a 1-1-8 to 1-1-2 in favour of Nikolai Valuev. Bob, me, how have you got it? 1-16, 1-12, but, you know, we'll see. You never know, they might see Ruiz's aggression as the, as the winner here. I don't think so. But you never can tell. Judges are odd creatures sometimes. So there's John Ruiz. Wilfried Sauland still having a go at the referee for that deducted point in round 10. Promoted. He was right. Didn't like that at all. He was right. And uh, I believe uh, she is Nikolai Valuev's partner. Yeah, that's his wife, Galina. He just sends her poetry. <laughs> we believe. He sends her poetry? Yep. Wuss. No, I'm only joking. Anyway, here they go. They're, what they're doing now is they're collating all of the uh, official scores. They're going to write them in a, ma a main score sheet um, that's going to be kept for posterity and records, etc. Write it out for the MC, who will then read that to everybody else. But, of course, so many people get to know beforehand, don't they, Bob? We've all seen it. Hopefully not this time, but the fighters, good to see them, you know, hugging, embracing. You know, only, only take someone to look over the shoulder there and say, yep, yeah, look, they're all looking. They know. Well, this big man's got 12 rounds again. He's lugged that. 22 and a half stone frame around again 144 kilograms unbelievable man and he must be getting sick to death of going 12 rounds all the time well most of the time anyway don't forget he's only uh, 15 15 16 times now he's done the the full 12 isn't it not 16 times but well he's he's a, he's a good athlete isn't he for his i mean he's the size of shrek but he can he can certainly keep a pace going for 12 long rounds and but here uh, goes Full marks to Ruiz, eh? Yeah, he said he'd come and he'd, he'd give value, and I think he did this time. I don't think this was one of his holding, mauling fights. I think he tried hard to just just do it his way, try to get the, get the fight done. He said he would. Just reminded, 116, 112 for Bob, 118, 112 for me. And we always, uh, between us, have a little... Uh, go to see and get closer to what the official judges say but we don't really take any notice of them well we might have to if they see it for Ruiz then well that's the way it goes yeah but what I'm trying to say Bob is we're both right <laughs> so there's Michael Buffer then with the official scores See, so many people get to find out before uh, they should and they go around telling uh, the various corners and connections I 
I prefer to be kept a complete secret. Only the, uh, the adjudicator and, of course, the MC should know before everybody else. Well, here we go. Surely they're going to announce it now. Well, Mr Buffer there just checking that everything's been done right. He's just waiting for his, his cue from German television. So, cut on the left eye, bleeding from the nose, bleeding from the mouth. And uh, it was not the easiest of nights here for Nikolai Valuev. But it looks like he's come in. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to the score. Oh, come out as champion. Takeshi Shikama Shimakawa scores the bell. 114, 113 for John Ruiz. Oh, goodness me, goodness me. Antonio Requena scores at 116, 113. Valuyev. Well, that's uh, much closer to the uh, mark. Scores at 116-111 to the winner by split decision and new WBA heavyweight champion from Russia with... Yes, indeed it is. Nikolai Valuyev gets it. But that Japanese judge, my goodness me. Where on earth did he get that from? He went for John Ruiz by one point. But fortunately, Bob Mee got it virtually right there. 116-111, 116-113 on... Uh, well, both went for Nikolai Valuev, but Bob, can you wrap that up? Well, the Japanese judge saw it six rounds each with the, the point deduction making it the difference for him. I disagreed, so did two judges. Valuev.